So here we are in London, a couple of days before certain events are going to be coming off and there's crowds of people around and this is the scene that uh, we're being confronted with. But Claire's got something to say from the passage. Today. Yeah, well we thought we'd come here this morning because um, the verse that um, I have to speak on this morning is Philippians 2, chapter 2, verse 3, which is, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit but in humility consider others as better than yourselves and um, the, the whole thing of this verse is it's really pointing us to Jesus because a couple of verses later it says it says about Jesus that although he was in the very nature God he did not consider equality with God something to be grasped but he made himself nothing taking the very nature of a servant and um, well, today it's another three days before the coronation of King Charles and in in his coronation we'll see and his life that after that we'll see something an imperfect example actually of someone who um, who has everything but he's going to give up a lot of his own rights to be a servant I think the theme of the one of the themes of the coronation is a servant theme and we certainly saw that in his mother the queen so it's an imperfect example in front of us of someone who who gave up gives up so much in order to be a servant to their country and the conference that Dave and I've been at this week actually the thing that one of the things that struck us is that there weren't a lot of celebrities on the stand but, but there were a lot of ordinary people like you and me <laughs> and these people um, although very ordinary have been remarkable because they've chosen to give up so much for, for their saviour and their king and have been faithful in doing that. One of the people was a, a lady from North Korea and she was in prison. She, wasn't, she was in prison because she tried to escape from North Korea twice um, because, but she was a Christian and she is a Christian rather and actually while she was in prison the Lord told her um, to lead other people to Christ and so she went to the one place that was safe which was the toilets because they were so smelly and in those toilets um, they had, would have a service and um, she went and she eventually uh, man, it did manage to escape from North Korea because to be a Christian in North Korea carries a death penalty. But, any, but coming back to you and me, I don't know about you, but when I knew I had this verse to speak on, I thought, oh, it's, it's desperate. I, however much I try not to do things out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, and I might have a few moments in the day when I rise rise to that um, so much of my life just is the opposite of that and I thought Lord how can I possibly talk about that but then I, then I realized well actually um, I can't do this myself but Jesus by, it's by his Holy Spirit that he will transform us and enable us to live a life that doesn't isn't characterized by selfish ambition or vain conceit and I just want so I want to leave this lovely verse with you from 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 3 to 18. Um, because this is what I put my trust in when I read this verse in Philippines. And we who with unveiled faces, because of because that's because of Jesus that our faces are now can be unveiled, as we contemplate the Lord's glory, that we are being transformed into his likeness with ever-increasing glory which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. So as we look to him, as we look to Jesus, he is faithful and he will transform us into being more like himself. God bless you all.